Welcome to Summit Awesome Games. Good looking people, I'm Rob. We are playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Look how nice our camp is looking. It hasn't changed since yesterday. We are getting very, 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 very close to another 300 candy canes. I would say by the end of today, we will have 300 and be making our snowman for tomorrow. But let's see what's going on in our market box right now. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, leave a like. Let's see how many likes we can get. Let's get us on that uh, Pocket Camp search results. Get us some more viewers. Build up our Pocket Camp army. You buy a lot of things, young Kiwi. And Myra, good job. Take it all, take it all. I literally just stopped this before coming on here. And we're about to hit 16 minutes until the turnover. Blue Bear, little cheeky Blue Bear. Almost level 5, same with Antonio, almost level 5. Little jerks, they couldn't just go up that little bit more, could they? Just that one extra point would have put them to level 5, and they would have been invitable to our campsite. But we are unveiling a chair, a couch, let's take the couch. Uh, but yeah, for all you bubba jubbers, our friends list is full again. I'm going to have to clear out some people when they stop playing. So, uh, yesterday... If you're reading the comments going, why are people commenting Bubba Jubba? I just commented to check my friend's ID. Shame on you, first of all. But uh, I went to the start of the comments and started working my way through the oldest to the newest comment before our friends list got full. So, welcome new friends to our friends list. We got quite a few of you guys. Like, uh, there was Lolly and Kyle. You guys are in here. Let's see if you're in there. Who do we get? Uh, I think that... Is a guy, Chris, I think. Tent, I haven't clicked on Tent. Tent's never asking for help. I know you are asking for help. My eyeballs, man, my eyeballs. Everyone is selling, I don't know what's going on. Everyone is selling stuff for max price today. It's everyone I bumped into out in the world. I was looking for pears, freaking pears. That's all I wanted was some pears. I had no pears left. And Blue Bear, little jerk, wanted pears. I guess because I took too long, he didn't want to go on that extra plus one to get to level five. But everyone was... They, well, first of all, they weren't selling pears. I think... I think Ryby was selling pears, and I bought them off her. Everyone is selling things for max price. And I was like, what is happening? Where are, like... They're not even, like, cheap. Now it's making my market look amazing at 230 for three. That's, like, a solid deal compared to everyone else right now. But let's unveil our amenity. A swimming pool. Here we go. Hopefully we have enough crafting materials to make a new amenity after this because I was making Rattle's furniture and a lot of his stuff used cool essence. So he might have burnt through some of my cool essence and bumped me out because uh, our campsite is full of cute characters. But all right, let's get started. Here we go. Let's do it, buddy. Cyrus. Oh, look at that. There's a nice pool. I'd love to see the final version of that pool. I'd uh, we will eventually. Eventually we'll see the final version of everything, but now our sporty characters can go to level 20. I think it's just our cute, no, our cool characters. There is it both, cute and cool characters left to get to level 20. Yeah, level up everybody, level up. You guys are all cute. I didn't think that one through, but that's okay. Uh, I've worked it out. It should take like three weeks, which is actually, it's actually quite a long time when you think about it. So to max this out, Let's say we had all the essence. Look how many cute essence we have. By bringing these animals into our campsite, we went up like 20 cute essence in a day. Insane. Um, but to level up this campsite to... If it goes to level 5, I assume it does, it would take three weeks to do just to get that to level 5. So it will take us 72 hours to craft this. And does this... Actually, let's find out. Maybe I'm wrong here. I should check this out before I state it. Oh no, zero seconds. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, I take it back. I was going to say it takes three weeks because it'll be 72 hours, 72 hours, 72 hours. But I forgot the zero seconds. Disregard my stupidity. And let's create a merry-go-round. I keep calling it a carousel. Merry-go-round. There we go. Look at that. Look how good that is. So maybe it won't take so long to craft these to max them out. We've got to pick one. And max it out. I want the tree house. I reckon the tree house would be pretty cool to max out. But we will max out everything eventually. At some point, we will have everything finished. 
made. And you'll all be like, wow, you crafted everything. And I'll be like, I have no life. I have no life at all. Uh, do we want to keep the pool around for a little bit and lose the... Actually, you know, I'm going to put it here because we don't... I like having the lamp and stuff there. But we can move the pool over there for now. Because, I, I don't know, at night time, just that lamp. You know I love that lamp. It just looks so good. But we have our own lamp, so we'll put the pool there instead. We'll put this, this is our construction area. This is where we construct our stuff out of uh, on uh, out of screen. So here we see it, looks nice. Then over here, construction zone. I don't want to see that monstrosity every time I log in. So I put that over there. All right, let's change this up. We'll put our swimming pool, place an item. We can place anything we want. We can place a little tent if we really wanted to. Or we could place the skate park. We're gonna place the pool. The little pool. There we go. They can chill out. It is summer. It's not gonna be too good. Like, it's summer for us. Or me, at least. Uh, and my fellow Australians watching this. But it's gonna be winter in our game in a couple of days. Like, less than a week. The snow is gonna arrive. I don't think anyone's gonna be wanting to hang out in this swimming pool. Is that right, Rosie? Do you wanna chat? Do you wanna talk to me? I'm going well. I'm going well. Cause you're doing great too. That's fantastic. I swear this game has controlled my life. Every time I log in, I complete everything, go around doing my request. Then there's this. Moving in. 10 minutes? I was like, what? No, no. <laughs> I just finished. Why you do this to me? Why are you always like con controlling my life? But all right, let's, let's put some things on craft. What do we got crafting? I think we have something for rattle. It might be Antonio. Antonio, you're done, man. We just gotta get you level five, which you would have been one point. I could use a uh, request ticket on him, but what a waste, right? He'll come back. That's such a waste. And you're done. We, you have nothing to make. All right, well, they're done. Let's make something for Roland. I think we're making the bed. The bed was in there. All right, let's make something for Agnes. Agnes, what do you want, love? You want a lovely table. Let's craft you up a lovely table. Doesn't that sound lovely? We still have 11 cute essence. Wow. Kept that. See? If you want essence, and you don't want to have to go to the, the little uh, quarry, just dump all the characters whose essence you want into your campsite. Talk to them every hour or so. I don't. I usually talk to them every three hours. But you can talk to them every hour. And you'll get uh, a chance of getting essence. They'll just give you essence. They'll be like, hey, take this. And they'll just give you something an essence. So if you want a lot of one specific essence, just do that. That's what I did. And we got 20 within a day. And um, if you talk to them like hourly, I'd imagine you'd have a, I'm going to say a crap ton. That's a, uh, that's a metric standard crap ton that you will get. Now, let's make this seat without legs. Is it really a seat? It's just like a little bit, it's just like raising the floor up a bit. There we go. Great. They're in crafting. 10 hours, or 11 hours, 10 hours, and three and a half hours. And we have a, we have a, oh man, what day is it? It's Thursday, so we got Friday, we got Saturday, and we got Sunday. It should be done Sunday. It's gonna take some time. But by that time, we will have made, or have enough essence for this. And then we'll be happy. So we just need two sporty essence and 30 cool. So... Uh, by that logic, we should dump all these cute characters out and bring in all the cool characters that we can get. And then all our animals can get to level 20. So we don't have to stress about that. And then we can just casually make these as we want. So that is pretty cool. Let's get these guys out of here. I'm sorry, characters. We're going to ditch you. You're out. Chrissy, go home. We'll kick them all out. If we can bring in a max number of cool characters, we'll do that. I don't know who is cool. Since I am on my computer, I can easily bring up a list of cool characters so we can quickly distinguish who is cool. Okay, cool. All right, let's bring in. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who is cool? Who's cool? You're cool? You're cool, right? Yeah, host you. And Cherry. We know Cherry's cool, so where's Cherry? Ag Angus, you're cool, aren't you, man? Yeah, you're cool. Host him. Here's a lamp I want, but now that we got these Christmas lamps, I don't really want it. I just wanted this, it's like this dodgy, creepy lamp. 
that you would see out in the middle of nowhere where people get murdered. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, in a terrible sense. Uh, where's Apollo? Apollo, you're a cool man. Bird, let's go with you, buddy. Uh, these guys, we gotta get them in, but they can't be max level because that would be pointless. Tex, are you cool? You're cool, but you're max. So, it'd be pointless to have you. We should have someone else in just to like fill that void. I think we can invite Kyle and we're making Agnes's stuff. So, let's get in Sporty. Who's our Sporty guys? Where's our Preserve man? Mr. J himself, bring you in. Host you, buddy. And ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba, we'll make, who else do we want? Who else should come in? I guess Tad could come in. Tad, you give wood. Maybe we'll, actually, no, we'll get Bud as well, because Bud gives cotton. Bud, there you are, man. Host you. All right, that looks pretty good. That's a good set of animals to have in. It's like half cool, or two-thirds cool, one-third sporty. That's great. That's what we want. So we should get, by the time our carousel is done, you should have enough to make the stage. And then that's it. They'll all be able to go to max level. We don't have to worry about... Not talking to animals and maxing them out. Jay's chilling out. Everyone is happy. I am happy. That's exactly what we want. Five minutes until turnover. But we don't want to do that. We want to go into our campsite. Or our camper. We're going to, we're going to customize our camper a little bit here. Why? Because I say so. Let's make, it, let's make it a little creepy. Because we've got all Rattle's creepy ass stuff. Let's creepify... Our camper. Put that away. There we go. So Rattle has the creepiest stuff in the world, right? He's got this. He's got an exam table. Because why not? He has all these things. Operating gear. Oh man, people are gonna make terrifying looking terrifying looking little campers and stuff. We'll have our desk. We'll have our chair. There we go. Put that chair there. Do we have an actual desk desk? I don't think we do. I'll get a fridge as well. I'll put a fridge in here. And a sink. We need a sink. We'll get a sink. There we go. We'll put a sink in here. Gotta wash your hands. We'll put the sink. I hate it when you can't when you turn it and it's not allowed to be turned. That way you can't move it. Put the sink there. Yeah, what else should we add? What else should we add? Let's add. Set some garden tools, because that's not weird, right? That's not weird at all. Put them there. What do we have that could go on our table? We also need a desk. Creepy ass desk. A stove. Let's get these in there. That's just real creepy. It's like the gas to put them to sleep or something. We're gonna be Dr. Rob. Welcome to Dr. Rob's creepy ass office. Uh, a rusty barrel, because that sells high, that's like hygiene to the max, right? That's what you wanna see. If you're getting surgery, that's what you wanna see. Just like a, <laughs> rusty barrels and gas containers and stuff. It's perfect, it's perfect. But we need a table, we need a desk. We'll go to our desk, Where, where's our tables at? We need a desk. A desk that doesn't suck. They all kind of suck. None of them are really desky that I like. Are they all coffee tables? Low tables? I guess we'll go to the natural table. Oh, that's humongous though. That is humongous. Let's move everything back a little bit. That is a big table. That's a very big table. We'll put our computer on there. Uh, we'll move these up here. We'll put the fridge here. That's way too big of a table though, isn't it? We want like a thin table. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, electronics, we'll get this. Put our laptop on there. There we go. So he'd sit there, do his work, laptop it up. Uh, what else would be creepy? What else is the creepiest thing that would be in here? Maybe we should add some plants just to liven the room up a little bit. A bucket! A little bucket. You put a bucket there. that freak you out a little bit? I hate that table. That table is way too big. I kind of want to lose that table. I'm going to lose that table. It takes up way too much space. So we just need, we'll get a little table, a tiny table. Like, I guess, I guess this will do. Metal rim table. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. 
Uh, we'll move this up. Put the tools here. Just places you don't really have to stand. Put a bucket just there. That looks pretty good. That's That spices up. We've got a little bit more room now. A little bit more room to work with this creepiness of this camper. You're not going to want to come in here. You're going to question why you came in here. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Should we put some corn in here? Old telephone, that's creepy. A duffel bag? Let's put a duffel bag. Check that down here. What else we got? What else should we go with? Uh, what is this, this? I always think this is a toilet. Was a serving cart. Or it just looks like some kind of little portable potty thing. I don't know why. But that's just what I see when I see it. Uh, a cup of tea. Little wooden table. Uh, I think we've expired all the creepy things that could possibly go in here. Maybe the spice rack could be pretty good. Nothing screams creepy anymore. They all look pretty chill. That lamp's pretty creepy. Everything else seems pretty good. There's a yellow sink, which is kind of disgusting looking. Uh, I guess we'll put the spice rack here. Why? I don't really know. But why the heck not? There we go. Okay, cool. That's that's fairly, uh, you know, it's got a good level of creep factor to it. Can we put these here? There we go. Put these here. Let's move this operating table down here a little bit. Put the bucket at the end. Put the toolkit there. Move this thing at the top. There we go. Out uh, the duffel bag next to him. There we go. What do you think? Do you approve? Do you not approve? Maybe we can move the sink up to the back, actually. Maybe we'll put this... Put the fridge here. With the sink here. There we go. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm sold, man. I'm sold. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. That's a creepy room. That is a room. Like, the bucket? What's the bucket for, right? What is the bucket for? You come in here and you just go... Like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in this room. If I walked into someone's camper and I saw this, I'd get out. I'd easily get out. Very quickly would I... Let's lie on that. Let's be patient number one. There we go. <laughs> just a happy dream. You've got garden tools? Why are there garden tools there? Rusty barrels and gas containers? A bucket? I just... <laughs> That's the best I could do with what we had. We'll have to craft, once we have every item available, once we've crafted absolutely everything, I'm sure we can make this worse somehow. But for now, that's not too bad. Rattle has just, he's creepified this game. I think there's going to be some very creepy campsites. Worse than this one. This one, I think the floor and the wallpaper, we could probably spice that up a little bit and bring the creep factor level slightly higher just because of that. But... As it stands, I'm I'm kind of, I'm kind of slightly proud of how terrible that is. Uh, what can we actually make? What do we got? We got these floors, the fences, fences people use as cages, <laughs> make little cages. Uh, this wall is terrible. This is a disgusting wallpaper. That might be one to go for. This modern wall that could work. And oh, maybe we'll add a rug. Maybe we'll add a rug. Yeah, maybe if we put a rug down, it'll either make the room nicer or worse. So we don't have any wallpapers, do we? We just have that. Just that basic wallpaper. Uh, what rug? The red rug. That's just intimidating. Let's move it down. Can we move it down? Oh, it only goes center. Let's move everything up then. There. How's that? How is that? I think that's all right. I could I could live with that. I don't know if it's the best rug, but it's good for now. There we go. We creeped out our camper. Go visit it if you want. Take pictures in it. Go on. Go go get some pictures in there and send them to me if you so wish. But geez, what a what a creepy what a creepy little room. Let's do up my guy as well. Do we have any clothes that would just scream patient or like psychotic something that would make you go yeah that guy is probably in there for a reason let's take all our boots and stuff off 
Take our hat off. Take our Christmas hat off. Even though I love my Christmas hat, I'm gonna take it off. Uh, my top. Can I take my top off? If I wear this, that's an ugly. That's a, that makes me look like a terrible doctor from the 70s. That screams terrible doctor. Do we have any psychotic? I think if I put a dress on and then take the dress off or put a shirt on, I'll be pantsless, right? <laughs> my pantsless? Oh no, I just got a little black shorts. Uh, what would suit? The BB, this weird checkered shirt. Uh, I don't think that's mental patient enough. The Grey Parker. Now I look like uh, I invented Facebook. I don't want to go with that look. This one. What about this one? The zipper shirt. There we go. That's pretty creepy. That's not bad. That's not bad. What about a hat? Is there any creepy hats? I don't think we have any creepy hats, do we? Not really. You could have the duck bill. That would be pretty creepy. Like I've been. The animals are surgically turning me into another animal. I'm a human, damn it. Them trying to make me into a duck. God damn it, someone help me. Alright, I've had my fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed us mucking around with our camper, customizing it up a little bit. And you're right, little man. Look at him. He woke up from a bad dream. They're turning him into an animal. No! I will see you guys tomorrow for more Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I know the worst part is, I'm going to keep playing this for another, like, 40 minutes, because... It's ticked over, hasn't it? It's ticked over. We got new animals out there. Damn it! The animals we just kicked out of our camp are now running around out in the wild. That's cool. That's fine. Now I have to go do that. And then I'm gonna get that done, and then it's gonna be like, you have 10 minutes until the next cycle. I'm gonna be like, no! Where did the time go? You're controlling my life, Animal Crossing. <laughs>